Hello everyone, as most of you know I'm Mrs Mottram and I'm going to be your TA in your new class next year at Southway, which I'm very excited about. So I'm going to tell you one of my favourite ever stories which I've known from when I was really small and it's a bit silly because I like silly stories and it's called Mucky Mabel. So this is how it goes. This is a story of Mucky Mabel. She had no manners at the table. She blew her nose on the serviette and made the tablecloth all wet. She spat her gristle from her meat so hard it travelled 20 feet. Her parents always dreaded peas, for Mabel could not handle these. Like emerald bullets they would fly and wallop someone in the eye. Imagine having guests to tea, they'd say, Oh look, I found a pea, not in soup or on a plate, but nesting in the fire grate. Mabel, keep your elbows in, they'd say. But she would only grin, or maybe kick them in the leg and cough up clouds of scrambled egg. Mabel, use your knife and fork, and whilst you're eating, please don't talk. But Mabel did not wish to hear. She put a spoon in her ear, and blowing bubbles in her tea said, please don't talk like that to me. For years it carried on like that, with Mabel getting pink and fat, and both her parents off their food, because their daughter was so rude. Then what should happen, by and by, a piglet wandered from its sty, and hoping for a bite to eat, went trotting into Mabel's street. The smell of cooking wafted out and caught the piglet, up the snout. Sunday roast and Yorkshire pud. Aha! The piglet squealed. That's good. At least that meant, if pigs could talk, that's good, as long as it's not pork. While Mabel's mum went to the bin, through the door the pig popped in. And seeing no one else was there, he plonked himself in Mabel's chair. He tied a napkin round his face, then he bowed his head and said his grace. Oh, there you are, said Mabel's mum. I called you, but you didn't come. Good girl, you've used your serviette, said father. There's some hope yet. They ate their lunch and sat agog, not knowing Mabel was a hog. No gravy spilt, no peas were flicked. No tantrums and no noses picked. Lunch passed peacefully and well, until a farmer rang the bell. I've had a piglet disappear, he said. I heard he came in here, said father. I do beg your pardon. Have a look in our back garden. The farmer said, oh, very good. Don't let me interrupt your pud. The farmer went into the back. He bundled something in his sack. Something that was plump and big and snorted loudly like a pig. I've got it, ta, he called and went, said mother. I wonder what he meant. He'd lost his pig. Now don't get flustered, dad said. Mabel, pass the custard. That's the end of my story. I'm sure you're all wondering uh, what happened to Mabel and um, how long is it going to be before Mabel's parents realise that Mabel's been swapped. Anyway, I'm really looking forward to working with you all next year. Take care. Bye.